It's been a while. <laughs>
it happens dude sometimes the nerves get to you and that's what we can't let happen so um now we're going into round five i'll let you guys know on the update uh three one so far so let's see if we can get in top eight for the rescue race that's my favorite thing I'm, I'm good. I hate my dude, my guys. dude. I'm sorry to interrupt, but my dude. Do you remember from YCS? Or actually, it was Nationals. When you actually played Evil Eye. I like that though. And now, what are you doing today? I'm playing Evil Eye. And what's your record? I'm 4 0 right now. 4 0. And out of seven rounds, that's crazy. We'll see, we'll see how, how you feeling? How you feeling on the deck? I'm good. I'm locked in. You're locked in? I'm locked in. Stay locked in, bro. I got you. I'm locked in, too. Let's do it. Hey, what's up, guys? So I didn't end up rep uh, reporting round five, but I just want to let you guys know round five, I ended up playing against you, Bell. And the guy misplayed. He, like, he was really tired, and I kind of took advantage of the situation because I, re I realized that he's not going to remember all of his card effects and so there was like a bunch of misplays that were happening and I, like I said once I took advantage I ended up going into uh, Mud Dragon because I have main deck super poly I ended up going into Mud Dragon and um, activating Mud Dragon effect and I think he forgot that Desiree doesn't target so he ended up activating the Desiree to target my turbulence and that's when I was able to go into the Hita, Hita bring out as far uh, go into Princess, Princess bring out turbulence and set four and I just pretty much gamed him that, that was one of the best parts of the, of the game but going into round six I ended up playing against some bestial Fiendsmith Centurion. Dude, that deck is cracked. That deck is cracked. But game one, I was able to, I was able to push it out, bro. I was able to, I was able to get there. And game two, I was, uh, I ended up breaking. He activated anti spell in my draw phase, and I was like, damn, I can't really chain anything. So I just scooped, went to the next game. Uh, game three, he, uh, I ended up going first. Uh, he ended up full wallowing me, and I had to make a bunch of weird plays. Like I literally had to super poly my own Resi Lago and uh, my D uh, witch to go into Mud Dragon to discard the turbulence out of my hand because he, I had no way to summon the turbulence. So once I discarded the turbulence out of my hand with that super poly, I used Mud Dragon and the Hydrant to go into um, Hida, bring back his Ash, use those two to go into Princess, Princess bring out my turb. Dude, this, this combo literally all day has been running and has been gassing me up, bro. So uh, going into the last round, let's hope I make it. You know, it, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm only X1. Um, it is top 16, but I'm looking to get into that top four cut, so. Keep you guys up to date. Round seven, playing against Anthony Martin. How are you feeling right now? Uh, very nervous. Very I know my nervous? opponent is pretty powerful. Pretty uh, this is going to be a difficult match. Oh, no. Please don't tell me that. It's scary. All right. Dude, guys. <laughs> Round seven, I just won 2 0 against Dragon Link. Craziest matchup, bro. Like, it was insane. What's up, buddy? We just got out of our duel. How did it go? Let me know. Tell me the details that you were most favored in during the match. I liked when I went full combo. I looked at his hand. I realized I was screwed. Super polyed what I had. Drew a witch off of a Garura. Drawing a witch off a Garura was my crazy. Boy, full setup. I was done. That's crazy. My boy Geo. Geo fucking X12. That's crazy. <laughs> Super Poly for the win. Both games, insane. Super Poly, like I even had to use Super Poly on my own monsters because he tried to imprint my princess when I tried to get back Turbulence. And I had to change Super Poly to go use my Fire Engine and my princess to be able to uh, go into a Mud Dragon, bring back my, uh, it was actually Airlifter. I bring back my Airlifter, Airlifter Search, uh, grab Emergency and, oh my God, I was game one. And then game two, oh my God. God, dude, oh. Game two, I let him full combo. Like, actually, um, that's a lie, that's a lie. I activated Impulse, uh, he ended up activating Talents, ripping the Ash out of my hand. All I had was Super Poly, Preventer, Emergency. I top deck a Fuwalos, and then I was able to Super Poly his Borland and his, uh, like some other monster. I don't know, dude, I was clearing the board and I just ended up going full OTK mode and it was crazy, but. Hey, I'll update you guys on what uh, what place I go in, and I'll let you guys know. What's up, guys? So, I didn't get to finish updating from when we left the Yuma Regionals, and I just got home. I just kind of wanted to go over it with you guys and let you guys know that, hey, I got third place, top four. Um, it's like two in the morning, but I'll make it quick. Third place, top four, Rescue Ace Azamina. Wild event, wild game, wild take. Um, got myself one of these nice deck boxes, you know, obviously the nice blue eyes man. like it was cool, uh, it was neat, shout out to all the people there that were super nice to me, you know, especially coming up to me saying hi, seeing all my videos and all my content, you know, 
coming back. I'm trying. It's the goal. Appreciate you guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for staying with me throughout the whole video and catch me at that deck profile.